South Africa's continuing defiance of the United Nations and her negative reply to the first approach by the UN Commission for Southwest Africa needs to be considered not on its own, but within this South, Af South, Af South African uh, context, if it is to be properly appraised and understood in the light of the historic responsibility that the United Nations has taken upon itself with regard to this international territory and its people. For it is now clear for anyone to see that if throughout last year we were asked to show cause why the international community should not wait a little longer in order to allow the full impact of its collective will to operate on South Africa, surely the same argument cannot be repeated today with any semblance of justification. <clears throat> the burden of proof has irrevocably shifted. Those who maintained that argument last year have now to furnish proof whether another offer of the benefit of the doubt will help the United Nations to assert either in the short or in the long run its responsibility and authority. Otherwise, continuing the same argument when there is no indication to warrant hope could only be considered an attempt to escape from having to face the inescapable. This seems to us the central message of the report of the United Nations Council for Southwest Africa, which is now before the Assembly. As is to be expected, this Council, which has been set up in accordance with resolutions 2145 and 2248 of the fifth special session, has been rudely rebuffed by South Africa in its initial request for cooperation in the discharge of its function. The United Nations, its Security Council and General Assembly has been going year after year, step by small step on its way to demand for Southwest Africa, for its people and for the territory as a whole, the same rights which are due to any and every other people and state that are already represented in this organization. There was, however, never a dialogue with South Africa. There never could be one. Why? The reason is that in spite of the allegations and the carefully constructed fabric of mystification, it is now wholly, wholly clear also to the United Nations that a powerful minority works hand in glove with the champions of apartheid for the purpose of thwarting the progress of history. In other words, there are here some who speak as if they were taking part in our efforts to promote a dialogue, but who act differently so as to destroy the very possibility of such a dialogue. 